Nikki's my friend, man. She was mad at me. You, you know, sound like you're lying to nah, me. Nah, nah, she cool. Yo, the niggas sitting in front of this shit all day, watching this shit. <laughs> the fuck is you doing, my nigga? <laughs> my nigga, you comment on this shit all day long. That says to me you don't have a job. Because it's Friday, you ain't got no job. And you ain't got shit to do. Why, why am I caring about what his opinion is on this fucking interview is? Exactly. <laughs> Nigga, you ain't been to work since I don't know when. I appreciate you <laughs> wasting your life commenting on me and Ebro's. Yo, right you understand what I'm saying? You talking greasy. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> You come in and ass, nigga. But it's cool, man. We appreciate y'all yeah, tuning man. in. Thank Real you very talk, much. Man. Thank you very much. Hey, what's going on? This is Ebro. You watching This Is 50.com. Shut the fuck up. Yes. Let's talk Mr. C, man. Yeah, man. Yo, why did you put him on the spot the next morning? And you went hard like this wasn't nah. even somebody that you knew. No, this uh, that's my brother, man. Mm. I love Mr. C. You, everybody, your brother. I'm noticing that you up nah, there. Nah, no. Right, but if if you prefer a man or you're into that, that's not putting us through the mud. No, that's not. You're missing the point. I'm. I was talking about the court procedure of going back and forth to court. Listen, if you work here at Hot 97 right. and you don't understand how to keep your private life private, mm -hmm. then it's for us to talk about with the listeners. We get mm -hmm. our rate. We have jobs because of them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the last time this incident took place, you know, it was it was a different time. And Mr. C, I, I didn't want to have to do that at that moment. Mm -hmm. But I said, look, I'm a, we gonna all, everybody at the radio station gotta deal with your shit. I don't give a fuck what you into. Why, why you, why, why does everybody have to deal with Because you? when Angie walks around the street, when Flex walk around the street, when I walk around the street, everyone's talking to us about your bullshit. Mm. So if you're not gonna respect us enough to loop us in on what the fuck is going on with you, you're just gonna be out in the street. Mm. Then we just gonna be out in the street then. Mm. Because otherwise, you got us looking nuts. We don't know what the fuck's going on with you. And, you know, niggas want to talk slick. I chose to talk about it today under, you know, my lawyer's wishes because I don't want people to think that I have anything to hide. Mm. So if niggas go talk slick and we don't even really know the true story, guess what's going to happen next time? Mm. It's somebody might get stolen. Or we're going to take it to the radio. Look, man, you out getting in trouble with the cops. Mm. When I heard it, I wasn't surprised. I was like, yo, that's what he do, man. What, okay. What's the fucking big deal? Get a room, though. You have a problem. Why do you keep... Because at the end of the day, my biggest concern, you're committing a crime. I had a girl come up to me in Griffin last night. Okay. Talking about, you know, $60. Yeah, that's we can right. get it popping. That's right. So I'm doing... I'm committing a crime. If I say I'm yes. going to go ahead and get this blowjob yes. for $60. Yes. That's a crime. That's a crime. You got 50 bucks, we can get nasty. I thought we was helping each other. I needed something to shoot. You are. You're helping her. Right. Either get you convicted of a crime if that's an undercover cop. Mm. And if it's not an undercover cop, you're putting some money in your pocket and you're getting top. Mm. I, I still don't see what's wrong with that. I don't think it's a crime. Mm. That's fair exchange. That's a, that's one of the first businesses. Right. Because you bought pussy before, right? Never. Ne you ain't never purchased some pussy before. I mean, of course, I've taken somebody to a movie and some dinner and expected some pussy. Mm -hmm. But I've never said, yo, here's... I don't have to purchase pussy, man. That's right, you like man. Skin. I've been doing this since I was 15 years old. Got At what point. point would I have to buy pussy? Right, right. I got free concert Ooh, tickets. Okay, what happened? You got that. <laughs> you ain't never <laughs> lied. You, you, your competition is 105, Breakfast yeah, Club. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, do do you feel it? Do you, I mean, those guys are really nah, they do. No, the they do work. Thing. Is that right while you're here, though? When, like, on the show is why I'm on the air? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Of, absolutely. We brought two new... Unheard guys. Well, Syph had been at the station ten years, but Rosenberg had never been heard of before. Mm. And he does parody songs and does hip hop commentary online. Um, and then we bring in K Fox, who's a New York native. So we bring in three unknowns, right, to do mornings. And they basically took their shit to number one, right? Ed Lover ended his deal there and whatever the alliterations they were gonna do. Siphon them ran strong, just leading the market. Was it all the way through where are we at now? Twenty thirteen? So yes, sir. through like mid twenty twelve. Um then you started to see the Breakfast Club catch some steam. 
Mm-hmm. So they started to catch some steam. And I believe they started catching that steam, one, because, you know, uh, Envy's a familiar name from being here on Hot 97, so there's some familiarity there. Two, the other brother, I think, um, Charlamagne, I don't know him like that, but he's familiar from being with Wendy Williams, mm-hmm. right? Um, and then you had Angela Yee, who's, you know, she's a nice young lady. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then um, they started to catch some steam. And so now it became a situation where you had our guys over here and them basically trading off. Mm. So our original chess play was to bring the old man back from the classic Miss Jones days mm. because we got something that they don't got, mm. right, which is a veteran like myself that's been doing it a long time. Now, another person that's like you and on the other radio station is Charlemagne. Yeah, but he now- runs, though. <laughs> Evidence suggests. I need a drop, son. Has a nigga tried you yet? Try to steal on you in the club? Of course. How do you handle these situations? Nigga, we knuckling up, nigga. Yeah? Nigga, I'm not afraid of none of these niggas. If it was you. If it was me, I probably would have ran too. I I think I might have tried to get one, though. Mm. I might have tried to get one. But I definitely would have ended up running. But I got a bad knee, so I ain't, you know what I mean? He's a young man. I'm an old cat. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I ain't doing all that running. I stopped talking to Angela. Because I realized that I was the one always saying hi. So if I didn't speak, then she wouldn't speak to me. Mm. So then I just stopped speaking one day and we ain't talk. So mm. I'll just be standing there. Did you ever say anything about her that might have gotten back to her? Where she feel like I think I I said some shit like I fucked a few of your friends or something like that. Right. But that was overstated. I think I only fucked one. Right. But it wasn't like it had anything to do with her. I just threw it out there loose because I knew niggas like you would be intrigued by it. Oh damn! What's a nigga like me? You know internet niggas. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, internet I'm niggas, an internet nigga. You making niggas. me sound real local. <laughs> nah, right nah, no, nah, just saying. This is 50s and big platforms. <laughs> so she says um, that on on the was I think it was the gossip game mm-hmm. that you don't let people from here follow people from 105. Is that um, true? Follow like on Twitter. Follow them on Twitter or go to any functions. They can't I follow be friends. them. I follow them on Twitter. You follow Charlemagne on Twitter. Yeah. You follow Angelie Yee on yeah. Twitter. Yeah. So that's completely false. I mean, I'm not atting them trying to be their friend. Then let's put something together where we all go out together and for eat. For what though? Uh, see that for what though? Just so we could be friends. I don't want to be your friend. What's the song? Thank you for being a friend. No, no, no. The no. other one. No, no friends. No, no friends. No, no friends. No, no, no. No new friends. No new friends. I don't need no new friends. And you mean that? Yeah, I mean the only friends. And listeners ain't new friends. They've been listening to Hot Nights Ever Forever. They not new. Okay. You know, it's competitive right now. Mm. I see y'all when this is over. Win or lose. Word, word. And I know it's blogger beef too, so don't sit up here in front like y'all niggas don't be having beef on these blogs. I heard y'all niggas don't get along with the world star niggas, and the world star niggas don't like the bossip niggas, what? and they gonna edit out this part because y'all don't want to talk about world star and this is 50, so all y'all niggas can shut the fuck up. <laughs> you, you, y'all niggas got beef. Y'all blogger niggas got beef. What? You heard it first. We, these blog niggas got beef. No, fuck we don't. You a goddamn lie. We lot. fucking with everybody. You a goddamn lie. This shit lot. go down there. Yo, man, let me tell you, you something. You gonna shut up here and lie to me? Make, you you gonna sit up here and lie man, to dog, me? Dog, look me in my face, man. Do it seem like I'm this, looking at I, you in the one eye and the face. Come on now. We could work together. Why be enemies? Do we have beef? Shit, I don't got no beef with nobody. You. <laughs> right. Oh, oh, these niggas, Mike. Oh, that. Oh, that's not you now. <laughs> that's my partner. Oh, that, but that's not you. That's not your squad. Shit. Get the fuck well, out of here. Don't try to play me, nigga. I know what the fuck's going on out here, well, nigga. You a fool, y'all boy. niggas, y'all niggas <laughs> the front, do a little cute interviews and shit. Y'all niggas got beef. Real beef, niggas with security guards and all type of shit. <laughs> Shit. You know, last time I talked to you too about some shit like this, um, we were saying how much we, we wasn't gonna give me a job up here. That's right. Right. I remember. Is, is it still that way right about now? I yeah. mean, you know, we evaluate the scenarios and we're just having. Yeah. Got you. I got that. I'm gonna just. I right with, you know that high voice, <laughs> yeah. generic nigga. That, That's when you know a nigga you know, not fucking nigga, with you. I mean, you yeah. Know. Nigga. The high voice. I'm <laughs> telling. Wait. 